Okay, let's get started. Uh, welcome to this uh, short video, which is part of the short course on GNSSIR. My name is Christine Larson. And what I'm gonna talk about in this video is installing the code. Uh, if you have any questions about this installation, go to the GitHub repository. Here's the uh, link. Uh, the steps we're gonna take is to first just copy the code using git clone. We'll set environment variables, which is uh, required for Linux. And I'll show you where I put those in my startup file. Then we're gonna use a virtual environment and activate it. And then we'll finally install the code. And we're also going to install some standard helper codes. Uh, you could, uh, you might have these on your machine already, but if you don't, we do have a little utility that will help. These are the three codes that help you deal with different kinds of GPS formats or GNSS formats. So let's exit from that and go to my home directory. I'm going to make a directory for my code to live in, and I'm just going to call it T. And go into that directory. Remember, the first thing I'm going to do is clone the code. So I give it github.com, my name, and then if I could spell it correctly, and then uh, just the name of the package. Okay, so this doesn't take very long if you have a wired internet connection. It's a little slower if you have Wi Fi. Uh, the next thing you want to do is set up some environment variables. I'm going to set up two directories for these environment variables to point to. The way you do these at the command line is that you would say something like this. So I'm telling uh, the system that whenever you see capital EXE, you want to point to subdirectory EXE in the T uh, directory. And similarly for there's a couple different, a couple more orbits and reflection code are the others, but I have put these into my bash RFC file. They're here, okay? And that's where you should put them so that you know that they are always there to be used when you run your code. Uh, again, I'll just type these here because that's, the way I've set this up, orbits. Okay, so we've done three uh, environment variables. We've got two directories and we also have the source code. So let's go into that directory. And in that directory, you can see this. We don't have an environment variable, I'm sorry, um, a Python environment set up yet. So let's do that. I think it requires Python 3. Uh, I call all my uh, environments env, all my virtual environments. env bin activate is how you turn that on. I would recommend aliasing that command because you end up typing it quite a bit. So this little env thing here says you have that Python virtual environment set up, which is good. And at this point, you are ready to install your code. Pip install dot is all you need to do. Uh, at this point, it is combining that source code that we downloaded with these libraries that are needed for the code to operate properly. If you've done any kind of Python coding, you'll be familiar with NumPy and SciPy. Uh, the code makes certain plots. So matplotlib is also put in here. So you can see some of these names. It also downloads files. So there are um, libraries for that activity and it puts it all together. We also have a PyP version uh, available. Uh, but for this example, I'm just showing you how to do it with uh, GitHub. Now, once that's done and it says it's successful, we're gonna install those helper codes. So let's do that. The helper code is called install exe. Now this can be done uh, locally by you if you already have these codes, but if you don't, all you need to do is give it the operating system. If you are on a, standard Linux system like Ubuntu or something, you're gonna to wanna to say Linux 64, but on a Mac, I do the following. 
And what it's doing is downloading those three executables and it's putting them right here because that's where we need them to go. So the code's installed. I'm going to stop right there. So the next video you might want to look at is how to run the code. Okay.